David, let's talk about the future Made in Australia bill, obviously going to Parliament today. Your thoughts on it? Yeah, we're yet to see the details, but we'll look through those details. What we do know, but, is they're prepared to spend $45 million of Australian taxpayers' dollars on an advertising campaign. Jane already mentioned that. that if... Sorry? Jane Hume had already mentioned that. Yeah, yeah. Well, I mean, I would have thought that if something as monumental as this, would you really need to spend $45 million in advertising uh, to, to promote it? Uh, we'll look at the details, but they're already spending significant amounts of money and they've, they've put a, a billion dollars out there and now it's a billion dollars for solar panels when there is an oversupply in China uh, already. Uh, you've, got a, you've got to question the government in picking winners and how good they'll be at that. Uh, but we'll look at the legislation, we'll work through it and, and we'll make an assessment as we see the details. So until it's been uh, tabled and we can work through that, then obviously uh, we'll reserve our judgment. And to the plan by the coalition to rein in retailers, especially divestiture powers, um, has it been shown to work in other countries? Uh, divested power, we already have divested powers in this country. Uh, in fact, Anthony Albanese supported those. We brought those in in 2019 for the energy sector. Uh, but they've worked in the United States, UK and Canada. Uh, they've been used uh, a number of times in, in the US. But they're only used as a last resort. And what we've done is put safeguards around this so that if they are used and determined by a court, not by politicians, if they are determined by a court to, to take place, then it can't have a negative impact on competition it can't have a reduction in employment, cause a reduction in employment. Uh, so there are safeguards that we're putting in place, but we're also ramping up and scaling up the penalties because the government at the moment on infringement notices is putting out 187,800 that the ACCC can give to the supermarket. They'd pull that out of one of their tills, you know, in one of their stores to pay for it. We're ramping it up to 2 million uh, and then having a supermarket a commissioner to protect and, and to be able to triage complaints. Uh, so this isn't adding... So you're saying the ACCC doesn't have enough teeth at the moment, doesn't work effectively? We're giving... Exactly. We're giving them more teeth. We're giving them more penalties. Uh, there's, no, there's no increase in the regulatory burden on the supermarkets. For them to say this is going to increase costs is absurd. Uh, they already adhere to the Grocery Code of Conduct. They already adhere to Section 46 of the Consumer and Competition Act. But some Liberals uh, MPs are saying that this is anti-business and we're moving towards well, you know, a planned economy. It's not. It's, it's working within the current constraints of the regulatory guide rails that already exist, but we're giving uh, greater penalties because the supermarkets haven't respected the penalties that have been put in place. It's as simple as that. If they, if they do nothing wrong, they have nothing to fear. It won't cost them a cent. Uh, but if they do something wrong in life and in society, you always set deterrents, but those deterrents, if, if you have to use them, should come at a cost. Thanks so much for your time. Nationals leader David Littleproud.